Hi everybody, it's Faith from Ferris and Tara. Hope everyone is well. My Pisces friends, I would like the record to show that you are receiving your April reading and it is not the 30th of April. Just, you know, as I'm reading, I don't even know what the date, I think it's like the 25th. I'll look at my phone. It is April 25th. So, things are looking up. We're getting our eye on the ball here. We're getting things done. Hopefully, I'll read this tonight. And then we'll have all 12 of the readings for the first half of May done before the 1st of May. Hopefully, if all goes well, that's the goal. Okay. I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. I'm battling. And I'd like to think I'm winning. But... I can control my illness no more than I can control the universe. So all I can do is control my reactions. Anyway, Pisces, I'm going to stop running my mouth and start throwing down your card. This will be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, April 2021. If it resonates with you, cool. It is your free will to whatever you choose to do with the message given to you by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it is your turn and not mine. I'm just throwing down cards. And if it doesn't resonate, that's okay, too. You can check your Moon Rising or Venus end readings if you think you might want something that may resonate a little bit better. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid, and all things can and maybe vice versa. Might even play out from the perspective of a cross-watcher. And our dear friends, the cross-watchers are always welcome at the Fire Sign Tarot table. Everybody's always welcome. And I'd like to thank you for stopping by. <laughs> While you're here, you can hit the like button if you want to. I mean, you don't have to. I'm not going to twist your arm. Hit, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you feel so inclined. If you think um, you might know a friend that might be in need or might benefit from watching this, go ahead and hit the share button. And, you know, whatever you want to do. Again, I'm not twisting your arm. But before I invoke the cards and throw them down for you, two quick things. One, never make a life-altering decision based on a tarot reading. It's just not a good idea. I read tarot. I have friends that read tarot. None of us in a million years would ever recommend that anybody do that. Two, if it is not your reading, not your story, not your message, it's not vibing with you at all, it's not making sense, it's probably not your message, so you should leave the cards on the table and walk away. It's not going to be your message every time. I'm just not that cool, and I will be the first person to admit it. So, mm -hmm. Heavenly Father, Mother, Earth, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, and Archangels, I ask for any messages you have for Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, April 2021. Let's bring Pisces to their highest possible spiritual good and put Pisces on their highest possible spiritual path. Thanks for coming down and playing with us today. Pisces, why are you here? King of Cups reversed. Lose the feels. That's like an emotional closing off. Wow. Either you lost the feels for someone or they lost the feels for you and you just shut down emotionally. Let's we'll see what the rest of the cards have to say. Two of Wands, Upright and a Fool for the past. Okay, so you had to let something go. You had to move on. You picked your path. The fool card. New things, new adventures. Fun and exciting stuff. Took a leap of faith. Come to the here and now. The Nine of Cups. You're one cup away. You're one cup away from complete emotional fulfillment. That's amazing. That's amazing. Is that because you're completely emotionally closed off? Or what's going on? Because this isn't making sense. Help me make this... Help me help this make sense. So, take a look into your future. Ten of Swords reversed and the Three of Wands. Oh gosh. Okay. Well. Whoo, that sketch. Okay. Because that's screaming to me that something painful didn't come to an end. And you're finally going to walk away from the dock. Now I'm lost. Do bottoms. Ace of Wands. Okay, so you chose the new path, the new fun and exciting path, the adventure. Wheel of Fortune. 
took the leap of faith. Took the leap of faith. Things are on the upswing. That's cool. Why the Nine of Cups? The Chariot. Nice. Maybe you did some traveling. Maybe you've put some emotional distance between where you are now and where you were when you had to pick a path. When you had to release something and let it go. Possibly a great deal of emotional distance if you're just completely King of Cups reversed at this point. <sighs> Wisdom of sorts here. Seven of Pentacles reversed. Oh, okay. Magician on top of the Three of Wands reversed. Complete loss of patience in the immediate future. No longer waiting at the dock. <sighs> Pisces, you moved on. Or did you? I don't think you did. I think you tried to convince yourself that you moved on. I think you tried to convince everybody else that you moved on. But I don't think you did. However, I think you're about to. Hold that thought. Okay, let's get some clarity. Save those bad boys to the end. Universe, stars, and spirit. Can I get some clarity in the cards on the table for Pisces, please? Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. April 2021. Oh, who's trying to come out? The King of Cups reversed to get. You know what? I'm taking it. I'm taking it. It's going right there. One more shuffle. Wow, that was that was good. That was good. It's just reiterating what I'm saying at this point. You've closed yourself off to it emotionally. I'm ignoring how this feels. That's not a good idea. Because you can only okay for one, that's a Sagittarius thing. Don't 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 be doing that. I'm sorry, but nobody stuffs their emotions down like a Sagittarius. I'm sorry. We're the champions of it. I can't help it. It's okay to process your emotions, Pisces. It's healthy. You guys are typically actually super good at it. So, what's the deal here? All right. The world. Well, here's the good news. It's coming to an end. Or that's what you want. You want closure. Okay. What's going to give you closure? Are you waiting for them to provide closure? Can I ask why you need them for closure? throwing that out there. Now we're going to throw down some cards and I'm going to not be Big Mama Sag for a minute. Okay. Why is two of wands here? Shadow side reversed. You made the decision to disconnect from something toxic and not good for you. You took, well, new journey, new path. Why is Ace of Wands here? Seven of Cups. I mean, <laughs> it's options. Beware of what is in the cups. Make sure you choose the right cup. I mean, the Wands paths can be exciting. I'm just saying. The wands speak of passion. They speak of action. 
speak of getting stuff done and stuff. I'm dancing around it. It's passion, playfulness, sugar and spice and all things nice. If you've been watching the channel for a minute, you know what I'm getting at. A little something, something, you know what I'm saying? Be wary of the cups and what is in them. I think you had some options before you. That's why you disconnected from the toxic stuff and you put some distance there. And you're still putting your distance there. Why is the fool here? Nine of Swords Reverse. Take that leap of faith. New stuff. New adventures. Getting it out of your head. Putting it out of your mind. Sleeping better at night. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Oh my, hello. Hello, dear. Queen of Swords reversed. That didn't end well, did it? Yeah, no. There may have been a harsh exchange of words. Things were said. Hmm. <clears throat> Oof. Gosh, that's salty. All I taste is salt right now. Wow. That's a heck of a way to end something, though. I don't know who said what to who. But I don't think it was a polite exchange of words. I'll put it to you that way. Why is the Nine of Cups here for the here and now? Seven of Swords. Yeah. Can I go one of that Seven of Swords, please, before I speak? The Magician. I'm good. I'm one cup away. I'm fine. I have all the aces. I can manifest anything I want in my life. I'm good. And Seven of Swords tells me otherwise. I don't like accusing people of fibbing. I don't think you're okay. I mean, things were said. Feelings were hurt. And I think it still hurts. And I don't think you're being honest about your feelings. One more on that Seven of Swords and Magician. The star, you're still healing. Why is Cherry here? And it's okay to still be healing. Chariot here. Ace of Cups reversed. Eight of 
Eight of Swords. You're putting that emotional distance in there. Physical distance. Could be traveling. You're not taking that 10th cup from anybody, though, because you're still all in a cage about what happened. Why the Eight of Swords? Queen of Cups. Because deep down, you still have feelings. And that's okay. But you gotta process them. Why is Ten of Swords reversed here? Hierophant. That's a funny card to come out. Why the... Why the High Priest? Why the Hierophant? Karma reversed. Oh boy, here we go. That's judgment reversed. I don't think anybody's getting married. I think this particular High Priest has come to teach a life lesson. Why karma reversed? Queen of Wands reversed. No, they didn't treat you well. No. Oh my. They did not treat you well. And it lingers. Why are the Seven of Pentacles reversed? Page of Pentacles reversed. If you're the one who was done dirty, you may never get an apology. If you are seeking closure, it's not going to come from them. You have to find the closure within yourself. And this is going to sound super weird. You can find that closure. I've done it. It was difficult. And it can be extremely hard to forgive someone for hurting you. But that's how, one way you can provide yourself with closure. I release you from any karmic debt that we have. Done. Done. And it's like a weight lifts. It's amazing. Why is three wands reversed here? Ten of cups reversed. Hey, where'd you go? Where'd you go? I hate when they get lost. Oh, there it is. Hold on one second. I have to go under the table. And it's the chariot reversed. (sighs) 
sometimes you have to be the one to close the gap. Why is the magician here? Seven of Wands, taking control back, manifesting what you want in your life. And doing it for real. Pisces, we're going to get your advice. And we're going to call it in April. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> I'm so tired. The star reversed, the queen of cups reversed. You do not get your closure. You do not get your healing. One cannot come without the other. As long as you stay emotionally closed off to it and don't allow yourself to feel it, you can't heal. You just stay numb. And you can stay numb for however long you want to. But keeping yourself numb to it or pretending that the feelings aren't there, it's not helping anybody. And certainly not helping you. And it's not bringing you to your highest possible spiritual good. It's not putting you on your highest path. Because part of spiritual growth, and it hurts me to say this, but it's allowing things to hurt. And I'm a Sagittarius saying that to you. And I'm getting misty saying it. So... <laughs> It's okay to process those negative emotions because if you do not process them, they linger and they just weigh you down. You don't want that. You want to elevate. You want to vibrate high. You cannot elevate and vibrate high if you're weighed down with unnecessary emotions. You separated yourself from this. So now you need to separate yourself from it. Two of Pentacles upright, three of Pentacles in the reverse. You can't build solid, stable foundations without balance. Take that for whatever it's worth. You cannot build solid, stable foundations without balance. The Ten of Wands reversed and the Two of Swords in the upright. Two of Pentacles reversed in the Six of Cups. You're really gonna make it say it? You're really gonna make me say it again? The source is gonna make me say it again. The longer you allow it to weigh you down and the longer you drag out. Oh, I'm waiting for an apology. Oh, I'm waiting for them to talk to me. Oh, I'm waiting for this. Oh, I'm waiting for that. No, no, sometimes closure must come from within you. And if you never hear from them, you never hear from them. You have to release it and let it go so it no longer weighs and bogs you down. What is meant to be will be. Okay? And just remember, and this is going to sound weird, but it's truth. We, well, it's my truth. However you want to feel or think about it. We've done this more than once. We play the game with the same souls every time. And sometimes your worst enemy, worst enemy in this particular soul existence and another soul existence was your best friend. So you just keep coming into each other's lives to relearn the same lessons over and over again. So, keep that one in mind. 
I release you from any karmic obligation. Done. All right, Pisces. I love you guys. Thanks for coming down. I appreciate you. Sorry for the delay. I will catch you guys next week for your May rating. Be blessed. Know that you're loved. Have a nice rest of your April. And we'll talk again soon. Bye-bye.